Hello everyone and welcome to another Kerbal Space Program video. And yes, it is a unfolding base camp thingamajig, bobber, whatever, using the inflatable heat shield as a means of building it. Now this is not a new concept by any means. Ever since they came out with the inflatable heat shield, people have been using it as a kind of tent, as it were. Now there's a docking port part that can also be used as a makeshift tent. It can store one Kerbal and you can kind of imagine maybe a little sleeping bag or something in there. Not very comfy for sure. But yes, the inflatable heat shield as a means of building a base or habitat. In this instance, I decided to go all out and build a full-fledged base. It's got every It's got everything from a science office to a type of mission cubicle thing. It's got beds, a kitchen, food storage, more storage, and even a bathroom shower combo thing. And in the middle is command and control with more scientific stuff. The base comes with two science rovers as well as a whole bunch of equipment that can be stored anywhere around the base so here it is the finished product we got the antenna we got the flag that pops out the little uh, 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 communication thing yeah lights a docking port the idea was that maybe another version of this or something a little different but with the same heat shield could be attached to it maybe like with a greenhouse or something on this side is the airlock let's deflate this real quick so you can imagine the airlock has a little place to sit down and put on your space suit and whatnot before you pop out the other end. I'd imagine that there'd be a cleaning room. Maybe when you step inside, it, it like, like there's a bunch of air hoses or something that spray you off and get everything off of there before you walk in and put the suit away. And then once you pop out, you got like a little kitchen right here, food storage, you got more storage. Although hindsight, I probably would have put those all the way around because, you know, storage is very useful on another planet. Then what's here is like a planning or meeting or even a research area. Then you got like more communications or like maybe the little rover. Maybe the rovers could be used for scouting missions or something. You could drive it technically. Something of that nature. I'm sure I'm sure something like that would be useful. And here you'd have more storage. And then this would be like the bathroom shower combo. And then you get the beds. Maybe like dressers or something would be underneath to store clothing and whatnot. Now that I think about it, you're going to have to wash the clothes. So maybe, maybe this could be the washer. I don't know. It's possible. Washer dryer combo. You could think of this as maybe like the systems or something going on. 
the hub system, I don't know. And of course in here, inside, would be like command and control. And perhaps even double as a really high tech contained laboratory of some sort. Because I do know when you look inside here, you'll see like a little laboratory thing going on where there's like rocks and stuff behind glass and whatnot. So that's, that's a possibility. It took a while to figure out how I wanted this to all fold out. So I know you can't really see it, but it's it's more like a V pattern. There's a there's a V right here, or a U, possibly like a U pattern. And behind it, there's another U pattern. So basically the middle would fold up like this. Then you got the side that, oh. And then you got the side that kind of glitches into the middle here. I realize that, but in order to change that, I would have to put maybe a, a piston right here that when it came out, you know, kind of like this, there we go. So that when it was folded up like this and it moved out, the piston would then push this out into a more, uh, yeah, kind of like that. It, it pushed it out and then I could be able to adjust it just like that. But of course that'd be more parts. Maybe in version two, I'll add that in there so it's not clipping into the side. At the time, at the time, just figuring out the whole folding sequence was challenging enough. And you got this part that folds in like this and then comes in like that. So it's a nice folded up place, you know? Oh, except for that, I, I gotta fix that. <laughs> this side's fucked up. Anyway, of course everything being covered, they would then open up like so. Things like the beds and the stove top and the sink would open up and they even got their own little light sources that are on top. Little lights, there we go. All these textures of course are just flags. Just flags. All these are flags, just different textures. I can just go ahead and set it like this and boom, like that. Right, 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 right. Okay, and we just go back to where the hell was it? Uh, uh um, you know, that would work. That That's fine. <laughs> so yeah, there it is in all of its glory. Just pop that whoop, and you're done. I really do like how it looks on the inside too. It's very, it's very tent-like. It's got a lot of tent going on. I mean, it doesn't even, it this doesn't even have to be for another planet. This could be something like the North Pole, somewhere really isolated and cold. Be a pretty cool feature. I was actually very lucky to be able to put it into a very tight, very tight package. Even has the makeshift air brakes. It's got the two little rover on either side that break away during free fall landing somewhere else so basically you got the floor plan that's folded up on the very top and then towards the bottom is the meat and potatoes with the storage the beds kitchen and offices and stuff I tried to make it like everything was self-contained so during deployment without the protection of the heat shield tent you wouldn't have to worry about dust and stuff everything was all contained and whatnot and would unfold once in the safety of the tent to reveal the more delicate structures underneath something like that and no unfortunately in the little cinematic piece where I had them walking around on the base on Duna I actually couldn't have them walking around on the base on Duna because if I did this would happen and if I tried to take their helmets off of course no breathable atmosphere so I didn't want them walking around the base with their helmets on I was kind of defeat the purpose of having an airtight base, right? So unfortunately, for the cinematic, I filmed it on Kerbin. Conspiracy. Yeah, it'd be kind of nice if you could like, if you enclose something, you can deem it airtight in your build. That'd be interesting if they could do something like that for a KSP2, but we'll see. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, this has been a Kerbal Space Program video. Thank you so much for watching and thank you so much for being a part of this channel. If you liked what you saw, please give this video a like. It'll definitely help out with the algorithm. And if you really Really, really really liked what you saw consider subscribing i upload often mostly on the weekends and i've been streaming like an hour here and there too so that's kind of fun we also have a membership program if you become a member you can get little cool emojis and badges next to your name and whatnot pretty cool check it out but anyway again this has been a kerbal kerbal space program video hope you all enjoyed have a wonderful weekend love you all stay safe and i'll see you in the next video bye for now Bye bye